السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته باك اون ذا انجلش فيرجن اوف ذا توك وتش اي ديليفرد ان عربيك اباوت هاف ان اور اجو ذا توك توداي از اباوت ا سجيشن فروم ا يونج مان كولد احمد الشيخ فروم سوريا فروم ادلب ذيس از هيز توك ذيس هيز ثوتس اي هاف ترانسليتد into English for you to understand how a young man in the middle of displacement inside a conflict zone can produce something of value to all of us while we are living in our, com in our comfort zone. Thank you. And all the talk today and uh, is written by himself, translated by myself. And we thank Abdurrahman who is actually doing putting the media uh, of this talk, the media material. I will mention these two as great examples. Most of you might know Mr. Edi, Rahmatullah Ali, from Pakistan, who has Edi Foundation. But most of you might not know in Mohandis Salah Atiyah, Mr. Salah Atiyah from Egypt, actually. Well, I, but I mention their stories at the end. Because they're both the stories are very, very, very exciting stories. So keep yourself tuned till we reach the end and let us talk about them before we finish our discussion today. We talk about social awareness. The most difficult thing to do in our life is awareness. Raising the awareness, spreading the knowledge, spreading the message, teaching people. Letting people to know their rights. Letting people to know their wealth in their country. Letting people to know how to protect their countries from those dubious people who are running it. Social awareness. That's why if you look at that, this actually, this, his, his dream, uh, uh, Ahmed Sheikh, was try to make something like uh, a platform. A platform for social awareness. Men right of social awareness. What do you mean by social awareness in his definition? It's sharing the shared awareness in society. It's number one. Society should be aware of all problems and challenges facing the society on a daily basis. Social awareness also to be aware of how to respond to others. This is his definition of social awareness. In developing countries, there's many problems which can prevent building the social awareness and let the, the citizens to be able to be aware of knowing their rights. Okay? Such as these societies will be run by what? Most of these societies run by jungle law. You know the jungle law? Okay? Corruption and nepotism will be the governance guidelines for them. Many people in these societies or countries will be unaware of reality, of the reality of challenges facing their societies. They are living in isolated ghettos and not mixing with one another, not connecting. They become, the individual citizen become having rusty mind, dark vision for the future. Oh my God, what can I do? No, there's no hope. Becoming less interested. What? In what? Why should I be educated for? Becoming illiterate, becoming bewildered, becoming disloyal and disenfranchised residents of the country. This is where in this kind of developing countries, which is, is, is developing countries, which is controlled by non-democratic, autocratic, theocratic and non-civil governments. Now, when you look at this, it's not only developing countries, but developing countries in a non-democratic situation run by non-civil organization, autocratic or theocratic. Those citizens will become what? Like wild beasts. Each one of them would like to take the rights or to eat the flesh of his brother and his sisters. 
No morality, no humanity in their life. This is, huh? This is the problem facing the individual citizens because their governments make them to do that. In developing countries, who are autocratic, theocratic, non-democratic, and non-civil government. Be careful to be run by non-civil government. As a young man, you know, the young men like you people like to make equation. If I have something, I have to do something. If I want to have something, I have to. And this. And this he divides all his talks and dreams into this equation. First one was, if you want to destroy your state and to make displacement of people, what you do? Destroy the morale. Make instability. Create adversity and conflict. Continue circuit of the country. That's it. That's it. That's it. You see some countries having the same as, the, as we speak nowadays, like in Syria and in Yemen and in Libya. Second equation, if you have your generation to have a bad culture and not looking for the future, what to do? Okay? To infest the climate, the social climate with bad habits, bad values, bad morality. If you want to build a society, divide the society, what you do, what you need to do? Divide your community into clusters of people and make different conflicting culture inside these societies. If you want to have a bogus country at the end of the day. The equation after that if you want to lose the wise men and wise women from the country, let the society to be led by those chant chanting loudly, clerics or hollow from inside and have nothing to do with the religion itself. Let people to bargain on their, their, their loyalty and your loyalty. If you want, if you want to have a self-destructive society, what you do? You destroy morality. You talk about the ritual of the religion, not about the core value of the religion and principles. If you want to be colonized and backward society, what you do? To become consuming society. You are the government, tell them no need for agricultural product. No need to work. It is your product to be more, far more expensive than what we import from China, from India, or from America, or from Europe, and so on. So save the money, save the orphan, uh, not so orphan, save the money, save the effort, effort, effort. Why you should become productive? You know, such an individual who does that, who does not have a role to play in his life, would be worse than the animal. Because animal has a role to play. They are aware of the role. If we talk about a cow or a buffalo or a, or a camel, they give us the milk, they give us the meat, they give us the skin. They give us many things. And they keep playing the role to serve us. If we lose, our role will be less in value than, than, than those animals. An'am, bal hum adal. Like animals, but less. Because we lost our values and become colonized. Even insects will become better than us. Because they have a role to play in life to serve us as a human being. Consuming society. If you want to have a false culture and hazy vision, Stop analytical research and local cultural integration. If you want to destroy humanitarian sector, use it is fund for food, blanket, clothes, badly organized camps and others. If you want to have a social divide, okay, have a casting policy, ranking. Casting policy. 
If you want to be dictated by by others, to be under control and crushed all times, mean here be economically disempowered, no lack or absence of community projects, fear of thinking and taking risk, frightening the people, the young people. If you want to have a wild, crushing jungle and woodlands, if you have this, if you want to have this, what you do? Have different philosophy of thinking, aging, ancient, out of date, rigid leadership. If you have this, fighting together, particularly with the aging leadership, you will have the wild, the crushing jungles and woodlands. If you want to have the fragmentation and backwardness, okay, be given to the foreign policies and projects funding and lack or absence of local governments and community projects. So you're given, you surrender to what they give you, what's left over on the table. If you want to have shrinking or absence of civil liberty space and the brain drain, have widespread poverty, create poverty in your country, create ignorance in your country, create lack of knowledge in your country, lack of your rights, knowing your rights and human rights in your country. This will give you the shrinking or absence of civil liberty space. What is the solution for this? What's the solution for this? Being keen to learn the knowledge and what is happening in the surroundings is very important. And focus on the most important strategic challenges facing your society. Following the spirit and the core principle of your religion. Being keen to build the capacity of all citizens as well. Adopt the maximum use of science and technology. Respect humanity's morality and values and culture and religion and so on and history. Invest in education, science and technology. Investing in building stronger civil society sector and organization. Investing in building local social markets. This is before the problem and the solution in the developing countries, especially autocratic, theocratic, or non-democratic, are non-civil governments. Non-civil, and I mean it, non-civil government running such countries. Social awareness of developed countries, okay. In such countries, their governments, what they are doing, have created various policies and procedures to protect and produce the good and productive citizens who will be playing crucial and critical roles to serve their societies and protect their countries. This will be through the following. Free thinking from the childhood. Motivation. Empowerment. Empowering educational system. Independent, integral, credible, honest media institution. Look at the media nowadays. They are Fankush, as we all know. We have to add Fankush to the English dictionary. Free press, journalism, civil liberty space. Independent, credible, well-established state institution to guide the governments, protect the country, and empower the citizens. Strong civil society organization and sector, empowering democracy, human rights, respect, and dignity of citizens. The same equation that Abdul <coughs> Sheikh put. What did he say? If you want social intelligence, 
What you do? Contemplating, imagination, imagination, contemplation, imagination for the children. I'm talking about the children. Cultural awareness, simplicity and humility, learning to listen for the child. So promoting and renewal, re renewal the ideas. If you want solid and strong and independent society, what you do? Developing educational system on moral, social, ground, advanced scientific technologies, basis to technological, develop, developing educational system on moral, social, ground, advanced scientific technological basis, plus empower local governments, plus critically renew the plans and the objectives, social motivation, and so on, so on. If you want, and as, as well as, strong local market and local product. If you want to have an excellent society, you have good morality and good behavior and comprehensive religion. If you want to have self-achievement, you have to be selfless and zero ego, zero percent ego. If you want to have a leadership of successful projects, you have to have a well dream, vision, and goal. This is to empower the society and the citizen from the young age. If you want to have social responsibility, you have to be responsible and socially aware. If you want to have to elevate the elevation of humanitarian and cultural awareness in society, what you do? Deep thinking, respect, ability, mercy, system, sacrifices, training, and media, and consciousness. consciousness. This is what you do in these developing, develop, developed countries. The last slide, which what, what we talked about, when spontaneous emotional, non-calculated responses become thought process developing developmental projects, we will be able, will be able to be at the zero point. The solution for all these problems is Three points, invest in education, invest in building local economy based on the ability of the individual to be productive, invest in building strong civil society sector. The difference between governments that destroy the moral of the citizen and to make them zombies and governments that empower the citizens and make them able to build their country, to protect their country and protect their wealth. I mentioned earlier on two great characters. I bring them back to us. Let's talk about them. Why did I put them? That's the two. Mr. Salah Atiyah from Egypt, from a village called Tafahn al-Ashraf, in the third largest district of Egypt in the north, called the Qahliya. He was brought up in a very poor family. Born 1940, I think 7 or 48. And to a poor family, even he never wore any brand new clothes. His father was always buying him second-hand clothes. Even when his father was buying his shoes and his foot size was 42, he used to buy shoes, a pair of shoes with a size of 44, to thinking that to keep it till he grew up so the shoes would not become tight on his feet. He was uh, qualified from the uh, uh, faculty of uh, agriculture and after doing the military service, there were him and other eight young people in, the, in 1974 sat down. They want to make a project, chicken farm. Each one of them was putting a share of 200 pounds, and they want me to make it 2,000 pounds. They have been looking and looking and looking to find, till to find another uh, shareholder. Till he came one day and telling them, I found him, the number 10 shareholder. They told him, who is he? 
He said, Allah. They bought the share for Allah to be number 10. And every year, they put 10% of the profit to the share of Allah. Incredibly, and you can imagine, most of the project do not make profit in the first year. But this project of the chicken farm made incredible project in the first year. So the chain, there is the share of Allah from 10% to 20% second year to 30%. And the more they put the, 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 the share, the, there is the, the, the share of Allah, the more the profit will come back to them from their business project. From 10%, 20%, 30%, then what? 100% to the share of Allah. From nowhere to everywhere. From nothing to everything. From inability to ability. From bewilderness to imp uh, impact on the society. He died in 2016. In January 2016. After doing what? After doing what? Six institutes, Azhari Institutes in Egypt, a branch of Al Azhar University in his district, another Islamic culture center, a train station in his village, which was impossible because it was a village, a dormitory for boys or actually the foreign boys who come to, to, to learn in the, 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 the Azhar University branch in his city for 1,000 1, young men, foreign one, another one for 600 girls. He made Bayt Mal al-Muslimin to help every individual in need in the village and the nearby villages. Till the time came that no one was poor and everybody had a job. Okay? He was giving free tickets, his organization, to all the students traveling, facilitating the marriage of orphanages and doing a lot of farms, investing them, helping the poor people in this area with the 200 pounds as a share for Allah, 1974. The second one is a great man as well, and most of you might know him, but you have to remember him. He was a Pakistani from Gujarat. At the time of that, he was born in 1928. At the time of the division, he has to move from Pakistan, from India to Pakistan. At the age of 11, or before that, he was nursing his paralyzed mother, feeding, clothing, cleaning, treating her, because there was no health service in the greater India in the good old days at that time. Very poor country. When he immigrated from India to Pakistan, to Karachi, he was working as Somebody was selling things on uh, going from door to door. Salesman. Salesman. Going from door to door. To be able to learn. No, not to learn. He, he, he would not be able to finish his education because he was poor. But he learned a lot from the disease and the treatment of his mother to help people. He wanted to help people at that time. 1950-51, he established ED Foundation. He died in 2016, the same year that uh, uh, Salah Atiyah died. Salah Atiyah died in January and he died in July. But look at the legacy of Mr. Edi, Rahmatullah Ali. He was living a very simple life like Salah Atiyah. Both of them were living a very simple life. Okay? He left behind 330 health center in Pakistan, a fleet of ambulances, of 1,500 ambulances, an organization which is sponsoring more than 50,000 orphans. He saved the life and the future of more than 20,000 destitute, 
trained more than, his organization trained more than 40,000 nurses. In his organization were more than 2,000 employees. His organization held with Bangladesh, Afghanistan, Iran, Sri Lanka, Croatia, Indonesia, even United States of America during Katrina, uh, hurricane of Katrina. He was entered the uh, Guinness Book of Record in 2000 because of his uh, achievement on the number of ambulances in his fleet in Pakistan. We conclude by saying social awareness is a must on all of us and we have to build it. Like these two gentlemen, which I mentioned them, Mr. Edi and Mr. Atiyah, came from nowhere and brought all of us to their work. Both of them died in some years. Both of them have been here. Their funeral to the second life were attended by millions and millions of lovers who have no relation, like blood relation or business relation with them. Be like Mr. Edi, be like Mr. Atiyah, and be aware that you have a role in your country to play. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.